Ça me fait ça. For ages 3 and up. The Everyday Collection by Target. Hi, I'm Dr. Jean Cirillo. I'm a practicing psychologist in New York, and today we're going to talk about how to make psychology games to make learning fun. All right, there are certain ways that you can drive home some very profound intellectual points for a high school or college class and still make it fun, especially if it's an introductory class and especially with psychology. Now, one game would be, we'll call it the Survivor game. Everybody's familiar with Survivor. Let's say that there are 12 people in a shelter. The world has ended as you know it. Now, you can give the 12 people different names, and you can, you can uh, make up the person's gender, their intelligence level, their physical health, uh, their physical appearance, the work and the skills that they have, and then give this profile to different groups of kids and let them discuss on the island that they're going to, only six people can stay. So they're going to have to vote six off. Why do they keep a certain six? Why do they get rid of some of the others? and let them talk about what are the different traits among people that make somebody more or less desirable in a different situation. Another game is called the Stroop Effect. This is a very popular thing. You first show a column of words and you write the color words. You write the word blue and blue ink, red and red ink, yellow and yellow ink. Then you write another column, and you write the words in a different color ink, like you write blue and red ink, uh, green and yellow ink. Then you time the students. You'll need a stopwatch for this. How long does it take them to say all the words in one column? And then compare that with how long it takes to say the words in the other column. Chances are it takes a lot longer if the color of the ink doesn't match the word, for the memory to be able to process and be flexible and adapt. This is one way of learning about flexibility and adaptation. Another thing that, that is very important, usually to uh, young adults and teens, is music. Tape CDs of maybe just a minute long of different types of music, rock, rap, uh, jazz, classical, and then, again, you could need a stopwatch. If you have access to a heart monitor, that's great. Play each of the musics and have the kids monitor their heart rate. If you don't have a heart monitor, don't worry. Have them take their pulse and count how many beats are there in 60 seconds when they listen to one versus another and another. And then they can discuss the way different musics affect their heartbeat and their overall feeling. I'm Dr. Jean Cirillo. I'm a practicing psychologist in New York.